Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. We're saving the world one trailer at a time. Today we're gonna to do a centerline TS hitch, and this is gonna be the application of the hitch. So I'm not gonna to try to sell you on the hitch. I'm not gonna show you how to install it. I'm just gonna show you how to put it on and off the trailer on a regular basis. First thing we do is we take our hitch head. All right, I have it in a box here. Slides in the back of this truck, like so. I'm gonna grab my pin. This pin goes in the hitch shank. Okay. And then this pin goes in there like that. I always pull out on this to make sure the pin's actually through the shank, not just in front of the shank. From here, uh, we are gonna back the truck up underneath the ball and lock the coupler. We'll come back when we've done that. All right, guys, so we've backed the truck underneath the, sorry, backed the truck up. The ball is now underneath the coupler. I always like to have it just a little bit forward of the coupler so that the coupler has to kind of cup over and it makes it easy to lock this in behind. So uh, I'm just gonna bring the jack down. You'll see now the coupler is gonna fold over top of the ball like so. this in place right away I take my pin out and I put it through this coupler here okay that doesn't let this unlock that's your most important part of traveling you always put your pin in right away from there we're going to take our weight distribution bars pull the pin out slide these into place and then put our pin in pretty straightforward stuff I'm going to hop over the truck, do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now, I have to get this bar onto that bracket. And the way I do that is I'm going to take the pressure off those bars by picking up on the truck and trailer together using this hitch. So I'm gonna go up here four or five inches, okay? The higher I go up, the easier this is. I don't know if you can pick up in the video or not, but the bar is getting closer and closer to that bracket. I'm gonna keep going, because the higher I go, the easier this is. clasp out on this side here. Don't worry, you'll get a better view of this when I hop back over. Okay, pop that on. Not heavy, just kind of pops on for you. If it's heavy, that means you need to pick up the trailer, the truck and trailer higher. Take this pin out. I like to just throw that over like that. Hook the hook inside that square piece and then just pop that on. Again, not heavy. Sometimes this wants to twist on me a little bit, but no big deal. Two hands, pop it on, nice and easy. And then I put this clasp in right away and put my pin in at the bottom. This clasp is clasping over top of this bar. This bar can't come off, but just in case it does, that clasp uh, saves you there. Then I'm just gonna retract the jack and put all the weight on the truck.
weights off the truck, or sorry, off the uh, jack and onto the truck. At this point, you bring that leg all the way up and in, but just so you don't have to watch and you bring that jack up and up and down any longer. We're gonna leave it there. We have the pin in. Second thing I'm gonna do is hook up my chains. Okay, and they need to crisscross. So the chain from this side has to go on this side of the truck. like that then we have our lights okay I like to give this just the, the opposite side there plug that in and then we have our breakaway cable now it's different brands you're gonna have a different breakaway cable usually this is silver uh, but you have to hook up to the truck with a separate clasp okay right on. so four things you have your pin you have your lights, you have your chains, and you have your breakaway. All right, so we've, we've, we've gone down the road, we've come to our camping site, we're now gonna remove the weight distribution system. We do it the exact opposite of how we put it on. First thing we do, remove our lights. I just wrap this around like that, okay? Take off our breakaway cable. Take off our chains. And remove our pin. Now, to take the bars themselves off, we're gonna do the exact opposite. We're gonna take all the pressure off the bars. So we're gonna lift this up four or five inches, take the pressure off. Now you get to watch me awkwardly extend this jack and take the pressure off. Again, the higher I take this up, the easier it is to remove the bars. A lot of times people put like a big eight by eight or something like this underneath the jack, just to even give you that much more height. All right, that should do. Uh, we then take the clasp out. I always throw that over. Don't lose the pin. And then I'm gonna take this hook right here, hook it in underneath and underneath the bar. I'm facing the truck, I'm not facing the trailer. But I want to have my knees away from this bar here, just in case I'm gonna slap out at you. Take it up and over. I'm gonna hop over to the other side, do the same thing. Nice work here, man. Hopping over. Okay. Again, the higher I go up here, the easier it is to pop these bars off. From there, I'm gonna lower the trailer onto the truck again until I have the pressure off this coupler. Because right now, the ball is pulling down, right? So the, this is gonna be hard to unlock. So I, take, I put it all the way down. Not yet. Not yet. There. Okay. My coupler's unlocked. I've unhooked my chains, my lights, my breakaway, and my pin. I'm gonna take this up out of the way. Okay, the truck is free from the ball. Now I can pull my truck out of the way and enjoy my camping trip. Hope you guys liked that video. Uh, if you do, push the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that too. Our email is sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number is 705-833-2539. Thanks guys, have a good day.